at the Cinderella Exhibition in Leicester Square. It's amazing just to walk around and see the pictures and the props. You really get a feel of the journey of the film and of the characters. We were making a fairy tale, so for me one of the most important things was colour, the use of colour, and to be bold and bright, a bit like a storybook. Ragged servant girl is what you are, and that is what you will always be. <laughs> the evil stepmother, none of her colours are friendly. They're striking, but they're not friendly, and I wanted her to look elegant and sophisticated and rather intimidating in her perfection. It's you, isn't it? Just so. What was important for the ball gown, for me, was the movement. I wanted it to be huge, but I wanted it to move as if it was made of air. Because the two most important things she does in that, in that dress is dance at the ball and then running away. And I wanted the running away to be as beautiful as when she appears. It's so amazing and it's, and it's so voluptuous. The skirt took getting used to. It just take, took like learning how to navigate in it. I just kept spinning around and sort of running around because <laughs> I just felt so light and graceful. This costume is not like the rest, actually. Underneath here is a crinoline cage, which actually gives it the silhouette. Then, because I had this mad idea to light it up, there are 4,000 little LED lights on tiny, fine wires that are all interwoven in here. I've never worn a dress like that, 10,000 Swarovski crystals. So the dress was a piece of architecture. When there's a designer like Sandy Powell, the costumes, they kind of enrich and form your character in, in some ways. I have visited the exhibition and it's pretty uh, extraordinary. And you do get a real chance to get up close and personal to the brilliant Sandy Powell's costumes and to parts of the sets, parts of the coach, parts of that ballroom. If you bring your dancing shoes, maybe you get to dance as well.